Well, one of the hardest things to get to grow in a garden can be carrots. You have to plant them early, you have to plant them very shallow, and if you've got dry conditions, they just never come up. Well, I planted carrots over in the other end of the garden, and you know, they came up really spotty, but it was dry early in the year. Well, then we got some rain, so what I did is I replanted over on this end of the garden, and they come pretty good. Still a little spotty, but they should be all right. And I think I got enough time where they'll get to be a decent size. So the ones on the other end, you know, like I said, maybe 25% of them came up. And there I've got good carrots, though they're big and they went deep, you know, trying to get moisture. I'm going to make soup, which is why I was out here digging in the carrots. With this end of the garden, well, all the tomatoes are over here. Uh, this first row is volunteer stuff that grew when I planted, you know, replanted here. But I've got uh, another row of tomatoes here, and then on the far side is the main crop of tomatoes. But then there's melons and cucumbers and squash and pumpkins and all the viney stuff is over here. It's kind of a jungle. But I'm glad to see these carrots coming around, though I do see a lot of places where the leaves are getting nipped off. Well, I think that's gophers. I think I'm going to have to do a... Uh, hopefully, well... You know, I put that chicken wire all the way around and I've been able to keep the rabbits out or all of this would be gone. There's so many rabbits they'd have killed everything. But I did one day after a rain, I saw a rabbit tracks in here. Well, this chicken wire is only 24 inches high and I think a determined rabbit could get over that. So I'll maybe have to rethink that. But it's really kept them down. But I did see tracks from a rabbit in here. But one rabbit won't do me too much harm, but if I get the whole herd in here, it will wipe her out completely. Then I'll go make my soup. But carrots are a battle. I, I know people who give up trying to grow carrots. You gotta, you know, the, the main thing people do is plant them too deep, and then they'll never come up. But you gotta tie them just right. And if, you know, like, like I had where most of them don't come up, it's hard to, to replant and get a decent crop. You know, you're into a drier part of the year already, and it can be a struggle, but I think I'm gonna get enough carrots out of here. You know, I think they'll be big enough. Yeah, you know, cause this is really bigger than I want. I, I like, you get about a six inch carrot, that's something you can deal with. These are hard to dig. But I'm thinking for canning, you know, some carrots up ahead of time and for winter storage. Don't like to have to buy that sort of thing. <laughs>